Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to change out the Whirlpool dryer timer. It's going to be a very easy repair and it'll only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new timer. The timer controls the functions of the dryer. The manager should be changing it out if it's failed and the timer's not advancing. In order to change the part, first thing we have to do is take the knob off. To get the knob off, all you have to do is pull it off the shaft. Once you have it off, you can set it aside and we can go around to the back of the dryer. Now that we're on back, we're going to use the quarter inch nut driver to take out the screws to hold the access panel on. Once you have the screws out, you can pull the panel off and set it aside. Now that we have the panel off, we have access to the timer. It's mounted right here in the middle of the control panel. We're going to use a flathead screwdriver to help take off all the wires. Sometimes they're on there a little tight. All these connectors are different, so you don't have to worry about taking a picture or writing down where they go. Just take them off the old one and put them on the new one. Once you have the wires out of the way, we're going to use the quarter inch nut driver to take out the screws that hold the timer on. We're going to take this side off first. This side also holds the buzzer. So once you get that screw out, the buzzer is mounted on a hook. Sometimes it'll hang there. If it falls off, it doesn't matter. We can put it on later. Once you have the second screw out, you can lift the timer off and pull it out of the dryer. Here's the old timer next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it out at appliancepartspros.com. To put the new timer in, we're gonna line up the shaft with the control panel and lift it into place. We can line up the screw holes. We're gonna use the quarter inch nut driver to put the screws in. Remember on this side, you wanna make sure it goes through the buzzer and the timer. Once you have it mounted, we can reattach all the wiring harnesses. All you have to do is plug them into the timer. Got the one with three wires over on this side and the bottom. And the one with four wires on this side. We got the wire that goes to the motor. A single wire and the double wire up in the top right. Once you have all the wire harnesses attached, we can put the access panel back on. All you have to do is lift it into place. And we can use the quarter inch nut driver to put the screws in. Once you have the screws in, we can go around to the front of the dryer. Put the knob back on. All you have to do is line up the flat on the knob and the shaft. You can push the knob on. Once you have it on, you can plug the dryer back in and take for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.